we're coming into Ajo. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful town. Just south of Phoenix and west of Tucson, I should say southwest of Phoenix, is the little town of Ajo. And if you go south of that, the little town of Y, and we camped uh, BLM right here at Gunsight Wash. Now, south of that is the Organ Pipe National Monument, and you are right on the Mexican border here. Found the coolest camp spot ever. They built this pack rack poison, the can of sunshine. Oh, Iowa gas. This is a really cool uh, look. Fire and <laughs> old Nokia. Uh, look at this fire pit. Okay, I think they've got some firewood here. They have made, uh, all these are lined. They look like, you know, flower beds. All kinds of little cool artwork. Yeah, they're under this big tree. We have a big tree, a bigger tree than this in our campsite. But how much coolishness is here? Yeah, they picked up some bones. Such a cool find in the desert. They made this little path. All kinds of little cool. Oh, this is so neat. I love, love, love this. And here's the story of the crazy woman camp is here in a plastic container that's sealed that you can bring out and we'll sign it. It's a sweet story of a woman who camped out here to with her son in order to, to save him because he was hooked on drugs I'm assuming. What a mama will do for her boys. Mm -hmm. So if you come here look for plastic container. Treat it with care. And you can read the story like we just did. Okay, I returned it to this tree. Oh, okay. Uh, Randy found something for me to sign. Because I'd be crazy. I'd be a crazy woman, too. Oh, there's some huge shells. Well, this is highly creative. I love it. I would love to move in here and be crazy for a while. They have all these little sidewalks. There's a heart. Cool little sidewalks throughout. Look at that. This is just too fun. <laughs> uh, we're on our way to Argon Pipe National Monument. Here's Randy standing in front of it because you may not understand how huge these can be. Oh, look at all the yellow flowers in blue. They match our Jeep. It is mid-March and these flowers are in bloom all along the road. Very pretty, 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 pretty. Right there. 
there to get your pass? <laughs> Randy went to go get a pass for the park. And Pepper, what's your problem? Huh? You have to go everywhere? Campground? This way? Yep. Okay, we're gonna go and look at the campground here. I think while you're here, it's a good thing to check everything out. Okay, here's the campground. Uh, we asked if there was availability. You can stay here $20 a night normally. It would cost me only 10 because of my discount. They have the water. The has a beautiful house. They have water and dump facilities, but no power. Way, um, Can we get our passport? I, I didn't have cell service. Now I have between three and five bars of AT&T. This is all the organ pipes. And saguaros. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these hills are covered with the Oregon pot cactus. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go back to the primitive campground. Look at little Nubby Mountain. It's cute. to throw out your trash. There's picnic tables. This is pretty spectacular. Now this is just a little loop for at the end. Uh, but you've got the uh, organ pipe cactus in the campground. Of the campgrounds we've shown you, which would you prefer to stay in? Comment below. This is a trailhead at the Primitive Campground. It's an easy hike. Moving north, we found a great pit stop in Buckeye, Arizona. It's a burb of Phoenix. We had an Aldi, brand new nicest one I've ever been in, and a Planet Fitness in the same parking lot. And uh, then we went boondocking off Agua Caliente Road, just west of there. This is just an overnight boondocking spot. And we're just south of I-10. Now it's a little ways off I-10, but it is a nice quiet area out here. Subscribe to join us on all of our travels and see where we're going next. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time that we upload a video. See you on the next adventure.